I got lucky. This is a mountain of recycle or regrind asphalt. This is ground up off the road, screened, and delivered. I picked this up myself, but I can make my road good now. So I've got the excavator running so I can take this uh, this mound at the end there near the dump trucks, this mound right here, and clean up this road a little bit. And then I can put that recycled asphalt down and it will turn this road into a proper asphalt road. So I'm excited. This uh, mound right here is what I'm talking. This can go. So all from this tree is gonna stay and then I'm gonna cut it pretty much straight over to the dump truck, I guess. This whole corner is gonna go. This will give me more room for activities up front here and it will give me a nice straight roadway. And I won't have to do this later and mess up all my asphalt that I'm putting down. So we're just gonna do this now. Probably load it into the dump truck, haul it and dump it somewhere else on my property here just so I've got room. Yeah. I got this charging block years ago. It appears to still work. Hopefully it'll keep my uh, batteries charged while I do this. That'll be cool. If not, I can actually plug that directly into the GoPro and it lasts quite a long time. Almost forever, so. Dump truck's running, I'm just gonna move it ahead. I'm gonna start by pushing these trees out of the way and then maybe just loading the topsoil directly into Louise. And then I've got the bunch of base material underneath I can throw down for my road project over to the greenhouse.
all that dirt on this new road I put in here so that it doesn't turn to mud when it rains because it's in a dip here it'll just collect water and turn into a mud pit so let's build it up
probably can't see all that well, but I think I got that pretty flat. I'll check it with a laser here in a minute since it's dark out. I got a couple new parking spots in there that are a lot more defined now. Maybe move this dump truck tomorrow and that pile and continue. I'm just trying to get a spot for that recycle asphalt to live permanently that's going to benefit me forever. So I'm going to throw it down on my road and I'm going to throw it in this area. And this will just be my parking, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to waste that stuff. It's freaking expensive. So at least if I get it down on my road and my road and out to there, I'm happy. And then anything I can put in this new clearing or this new flat spot anyways, any I can put there is just a bonus. You want activity? Cool. So it's uh, dark out. I don't know if you can see at all. But I'm just setting up my uh, Dewalt laser here. So that I can walk around and see how level all this is. Just for one second you get lights. So I'm just going to walk around and check this whole area with this laser that I've got set up over here. You can see, maybe, I can see anyways the uh, laser shining all, all around here. So we're sitting at 25 inches right here. Let's just see what the average everywhere is. I'm just worried about drainage. 26 and a half. So that means this is lower than where I first checked. 26. Oh, cool. Twenty-seven. You know, if it's all within an inch, I'm pretty happy. I don't care if water sits on it if I put the recycle down. 26. 25, where's my road, 26-ish, 26, cool, that's actually pretty flat, I'm impressed.
uh, the roller ran out of uh, fuel, but this is looking nice, nice and hard. So I can put that recycled asphalt down on this. If someone's got a way to get all these little roots out easier, let me know, because I hate these poking through my driveway. I'm gonna take a chainsaw, I guess, and cut it all out, but like, look at them all. It's just terrible and annoying, and you pull on them and it makes a mess. So, if someone's got a fix for those, maybe just weed whack them, I don't know. It's annoying. That's annoying too. I keep hearing something in here. There's been a bear around. I don't see it. Slowly creeping forward. Should probably kick a rock under it so it doesn't uh, disappear. Park engaged. Always seems to be chainsaw things to do. These are cool. I bought new, uh, I bought new tips off Amazon. They come with caps, so you don't have to put the thing inside. They're just awesome. Oh, it's fucking shit. Oh, that's what happens when you drop your jerry can. Fifty bucks that thing cost me to fill, and I'm dumping it on the ground. Filter's full now. You like to come loose and pretend they own the business. Might not have even run out of fuel.
You know it's good stuff when it's clumpy like that. That stuff's going to turn right back into asphalt when I pack it. After it sits a little while. Oh yeah, sure it is. If you can get your hands on good quality recycle asphalt with no dirt mixed into it, that's what this is. It's hard to work with when it's old, but uh, it's just wonderful. I'm hoping I can get way over there and fill all of that and maybe have some extra. I don't know. We'll see. Just trying to get it nice and smooth for the driveway. Once in a while you get full old pieces of road that you got to fight with. But uh, yeah, just driving on it, it's turning like asphalt. So just going to continue down over to the shop there. I've got lots to make it to the uh, entranceway of the shop. So then maybe I'll throw some here like I was thinking. Give me a really nice set of parking spots. That would be cool. Just cut it straight across there, come in here. If I do that, I'll clean up that corner, I think. And that edge. <laughs> More work.
that goes so hard so fast. A couple were packs with some water on it, with some concrete. Cool. Super exciting, I got a parking spot for Louise. I've got more material, so I'm just gonna scrape some more of this over here with the excavator flat. And add more recycle until I'm out. There's a hump right in the way here, so let's get rid of it. Got a uh, dead battery problem, of course. So, I've showed this in past videos. This thing's awesome. However, it's delicate. So I bought this case for it. This is my third one. They've been covered. Now when I say they've been covered, I want to specify they've been covered by my parts store. under, I guess, warranty. Um, I don't know if they're getting replacements or not. They're covering them for me because I'm a good customer to them. So, if you do get one of these, don't drop it, don't bump it. The slightest bump will set it off. Okay, that shouldn't vibrate off there, so. Now when I say, uh, when I say they're delicate, what happens, the button, you press it, and have to hold it to get anything to happen.
if you do buy one of these Nocos, like I said, they're awesome. They'll start a tank. They got no problem starting every piece of equipment in the, in the yard. I should leave this up here so I can start that. It's got no problem at all starting any piece of, piece of equipment I own. But they're delicate. Don't drop it. I'm just lucky to have a good parts store near me. I don't know if Noco themselves is warranty in these things. So let's try to get this going in a bit. Quite the rainstorm. I'm happy with this tiny, tiny puddle formation there, but I've got a bit more material. I just don't want to drive to it and track mud all over this. But look at this! It's it's rock hard just just from a rainstorm. Hopefully you can hear that. That rainstorm's awesome. Oh, Sparky. It's quite the storm. cycle over here but we're gonna pack the living ever out of this so this is a very important step this is the most important step with recycled asphalt is the compaction you want to get it as wet as you can and the rain last night did that for me and then pound out of as hard as you can with the roller with the vibrator Vibrator. 
finished product. This should, in theory, last years and years and years, um, forever, almost. Once you put this stuff down, it creates a waterproof barrier between itself and the stuff underneath. So any soft spots that are formed right now will eventually dry up and stay dry forever. All my water is running off. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. Just a couple of spots to throw some more down when I, when I got access to it, but that's all right. Very happy for now. Myself. There's no one around and it's a brand spank and new link belt 145 I think It's one hell of a machine
So if you pay attention here, this is the pile of recycled asphalt that I was putting down at home. If you notice, this machine is having an awfully hard time scraping it up. I'm pushing as hard as I can with the bucket into this and I'm barely getting half a scoop each time so I've got to pile it to a spot until I get a full scoop out of it. But this is what my driveway turns into. Absolute rock hard material. It's awesome. there is to it. I'll show you inside this thing quick. It's freaking cool. It's so smooth, so nice and easy. It's put inside a brand new $250,000 machine, looks like. Well, somewhere in here, the 
recording of my dumping this load when missing. So here we are. I just wanted to spread it around with this tractor a little bit, fill that puddle in behind, and make sure I had enough between this load and there's one more on the truck right now. Make sure I got enough between those two loads to do what I need to do. So let's bring the tractor over here and spread this one load out. Okay, the tractor is not the best tool for that, but I just wanted to see how much I'd have left and my bobcat bucket's not on it, so I'll have plenty with these two loads to do my, my goals here. I, uh, I just got a call to go work, so I'm going to just dump this other load with this one for now and I'll just have to deal with them both from here. At least I can spread the excess to where it sunk a little bit and my water's already gone, so I'll be able to make this work. This will be nice. Hey, I just wanted to pop in and say thanks if you've made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like and thumbs up if there was anything in here that made you smile or if you learned anything. Stay tuned, I've got so much shop content coming up, it's ridiculous. I'm just trying to get it all out chronologically so it all makes sense a little bit to my regular subscribers. So. This load is actually still sitting where I've dumped it today, it's December 1st, I'm putting this video together for you, so. I never did anything more with the recycled asphalt, I've got my shop all up now. I'm gonna try and maybe use some of this recycle on the inside for my toolboxes or something, but that's all coming up maybe in a future video. I just wanted to say thanks and show some appreciation to everyone that makes it to the very end here. Hopefully one day I'm big enough I can give you guys some sort of a reward. Anyways, thanks again. Take care.